Human Reproductive System Humans are sexually reproducing and viviparous. The reproductive events in humans include formation of gametes, sperms in male and ovum in females, transfer of sperms into the female genital tract that is also called insemination, and fusion of male and female gamete fertilization that is leading to formation of zygote. In this chapter, we will talk about the reproductive structures and reproductive events that are taking place in humans. So, we will start with the male reproductive system. As you can see in the diagram, this is a uh, sectional view of male pelvis showing reproductive system. The male reproductive system is located in the pelvis region that is the pelvic area, pelvic girdle. It includes a pair of testes along with accessory ducts, glands and the external genitalia. As you can see in the diagram, the testes are situated outside the abdominal cavity within a pouch called scrotum. Now why they are located outside the body in the pouch? This particular pouch that is scrotum helps in maintaining the low temperature of the testes that is 2 to 2.5 degree lower than the normal internal body temperature. So, whatever the normal human body temperature, the testes will face 2 to 2.5 degree lower than that normal internal body temperature. And this will help in the sperm production that is spermatogenesis. Or you can say that this, temp this lower temperature is necessary for the formation of sperms. Each testes, when we talk about testes, each testes is oval in shape. The length is about 4 to 5 centimeter and the width is about 2 to 3 centimeter. Now the testes is covered by a dense covering. Uh, one is called tunica albiginia and the other is called tunica vaginalis. And inside, when we go inside the testes, each testes is having 250 compartments called testicular lobules. Now we talked about testes and when and now we are going inside the testes. So inside testes we will find 250 compartments and these compartments are called what testicular lobules. In each lobule we will have 1 to 3 highly coiled seminiferous tubule. So first was testes then we moved inside testes so we got 250 compartments we call them as testicular lobules and each lobule is having seminiferous tubule that is 1 to 3 highly coiled seminiferous tubule and in these seminiferous tubules sperms are produced that is the male gamete each seminiferous seminiferous tubule is lined on its inside by two types of cell called male germ cell that is the spermatogonia which will produce sperm and the sertoli cells which will provide nourishment to the developing male gamete. So each lobule contains one to three highly coiled seminiferous tubule and each seminiferous tubule is lined by two types of cells. One is the male germ cell and other the sertoli cell. Now the male germ cell will undergo meiotic division that is meiosis for making the sperm haploid while the Sertoli cells will maintain the nutrition of the germ cell. Now there will be region between the seminiferous tubule and these regions are called interstitial space. Like we said, we said that there are three seminiferous tubules which are highly coiled. So there will be space between these seminiferous tubules and these space are called nothing but interstitial spaces. Now these interstitial spaces will contain small blood vessels and interstitial cells which are also called Leydig cells and these cells will synthesize and secrete testicular hormones called androgens that is testosterone male hormones and other immunological competent cells. Now we come to the male sex accessory ducts which will help indirectly in the reproduction. Now the male sex accessory ducts include rete testes, vas efferentia, epidermis and vas deferens. 
Now the seminiferous tubule of the testes will open into the vasa efferentia through rete testes. The vasa efferentia will leave the testes and open into epididymis located along the posterior surface of each testes. As you can see in the diagram, first the seminiferous tubule is opening into vasa efferentia through rete testes. The vasa efferentia now leaves the testes and open into epididymis. You can see the coiled structure that is what that is epididymis as it is given here in the diagram. Now this epididymis will lead to vas deferens that ascends to the abdomen. See you can see the long vas, uh, vas deferens in the diagram and now this will loop around the urinary bladder as you can see in the diagram it is looping around the urinary bladder. It receives a duct this will also receive a duct from seminal vesicle and opens into the urethra as the ejaculatory duct. So you will have urethra and an ejaculatory duct will open into that. These ducts have a function they store and transport the sperms from the testes to the outside through urethra. Now as we, saw, as we know that male have common urinogenital tract so they will have the ejaculation of the male gamete will, will also take place from the urethra. The urethra originates from the urinary bladder as you have seen in the 11th standard about the uh, excret excretory system and extends to the penis to its external opening called urethral meters. Now the penis when we talk about external genitalia uh, the penis is the male external genitalia. It is made up of special tissues that helps in erection of the penis which will facilitate the insemination that is the uh, giving of the gamete inside the female body. The enlarged end of the penis called the glans penis is covered by a loose fold of skin and it is called as foreskin. The accessory ducts which help indirectly in the process of formation of semen are seminal vesicle, prostrate and paired bulbourethral gland. Okay, so, so the secretion of these glands will include seminal plasma liquid which is rich in fructose calcium and certain enzyme which will help in the fertilization process and the bulbo secretion of the bulbo urethral gland will help in the lubrication of the penis and the seminal plasma plus the sperms will make what semen which will be the male reproductive you you can say male reproductive liquid male reproductive that is semen it will help in the process it will enhance the fertilization of the sperm okay